Hi, from lockdown in the fair city of Nottingham in the United Kingdom. I thought that now might be as good a time as any to update my five top tips to get started with your creative writing. So here goes. Tip number one. The first thing that you're going to need to do is to find some time for your writing, which probably goes without saying. But we're not talking about a huge amount of time to begin with. You literally need half an hour or an hour just where you can have time to yourself, some peace and quiet and get on with it. Now, believe me, I know this isn't easy. I have a full time job. I have a family. I have dogs. All of these things pull on your time and pull on your concentration. But you just need to find that spot in your day where you can actually make a little bit of time. Now, that might be getting up half an hour, really, or it might be just not watching TV for quite as long at night when you're relaxing in the evening. It could be all sorts of places, but you just need to look at your day. And I know how challenging it is, but you just need to look at your day and find that little spot where you can actually take some time for yourself and to have a go at your writing. So number two, tip number two, this is related to the first one. And this is to find some space to actually do your writing in. This is a little bit harking back to the Virginia Woolf thing about a room of your own, but not really, because you definitely don't need a room of your own. I mean, this is my desk space and this is in the corner of my living room. So, you know, you just need to find a little spot for yourself. And like Stephen King, when he first started out, he literally made a desk in the utility room on top of the washing machine. So you can find a space anywhere. When lockdown finishes, I won't just be right in here. I'll be off out as well to cafes and libraries because I find sometimes it's quite inspiring to be in a different place from the home. But it is a matter of finding that space where you feel comfortable, where you feel inspired, where stuff isn't going to disturb you. So try and find some space, a place where you can do some writing. Tip number three is to play. Now, by this, I don't mean get out the Lego or anything like that. But, you know, seriously, seriously, with some serious intent to have some fun when you sit down with that piece of paper. There are all sorts of places where you might find inspiration. It might be through reading the newspapers or stuff you see online or writing prompts or that kind of thing. But try lots of different things because actually finding out what works for you and what gets you writing, it's a very personal thing. And you might have to try a lot of different things before you find that. So play, try different things and try to have some fun with it because, hey, otherwise, you know, what's the point? Number four, tip number four is to start with what you know. Now, I'm not saying write what you know. In fact, I don't like that piece of writing advice because I think it's really boring. Who wants to just write what they know all the time? I mean, hey, why? Why bother? But I do think it can be a good starting point. I do think if you write about things that you know, that can lead you towards being a more creative writer in the longer term. When I first started writing, I often would describe stuff that had happened to me. I would literally sit down and write a scene of something that had actually happened to me. Now, clearly, that's not stuff I want to publish. It's not that interesting for starters, but it can give you a good starting point in terms of you're actually putting the words down, you're describing stuff, you're getting dialogue on paper, you're looking at the way things happen, the way scenes happen, the way people interact. And over time, it's building skills, but also, really importantly, building confidence that you can actually put this stuff down in words. So that's tip number four. Don't necessarily write what you know, but maybe that's where you're going to start. Tip number five. Now, this is probably the most important of all the tips that I'm giving you here or have ever given you on this channel. This is to keep trying and this is to keep going and persevere and just keep on keeping on. Now, this is something that Alan Silito once wrote to me in a letter. Yes, one of my proud writer moments. Writing's hard. When you first start out, sometimes even putting a few words down on paper can feel like wading through treacle. And when you're 10 years down the line, sometimes even putting a few words down on paper can feel like wading through treacle. But what Alan said is so important because it's the people who persevere and keep trying who get there. Now, by get there, I don't necessarily even mean published. I certainly don't mean prize winning and best selling or any of that stuff. But what I mean is, actually getting something down in words that you're proud of, that you're pleased to have created, that is satisfying. And the only way to do that is to keep going. So this is tip number five. It's the most important one. Keep trying, keep on keeping on. 
I hope this video was helpful. Do give me a thumbs up below if it was and say stuff in the comments about what you liked and what you'd like to know more about or even some tips that you might have for other people. For more of the same and regular updates from me, please do subscribe to the channel. But in the meantime, take care of yourself in lockdown. Fingers crossed this will all be over to you. Bye.